humans have been calculating for as long as we've been walking this earth. But only recently have we been able to do so electronically. Up until the late 1960s, slide rules, pen and paper, were the arithmetic go-tos. Texas Instruments introduced their first handheld calculator in 1967. It featured four basic functions, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. A year later, Hewlett Packard introduced the 9100. The heart of the classroom system is the 9100 computing calculator. It can be used as either a very simple to operate calculator or a very powerful desktop computer. The 9100 far outperformed any other calculator at the time. And for students of trigonometry, analytic geometry, calculus, biology, chemistry, and physics are a group of keys that automatically provide the trigonometric and logarithmic functions so often used in the advanced mathematics and the sciences. It was a first scientific calculator, but not only was it expensive, priced at nearly $5,000, it was also large and unwieldy. So Hewlett Packard co-founder, Bill Hewitt, posed a challenge to his staff. Build a similar machine, but one that could fit in a shirt pocket. The early 1970s saw a number of pocket-sized calculators hit the market, like the Sharp ELSI-8, the world's first battery-operated portable calculator. Introducing the answer. A really small calculator, a really silent electronic, a really fast thinker, one that works anywhere on battery or plug-in, one with all the calculator know-how you'll probably ever need. One year later, Hewlett Packard accomplished what at the time seemed impossible, cramming most of the functionality of the 9100 into a tiny handheld device, the HP 35, so-called for its 35 keys. Originally priced at $395, the HP 35 wasn't expected to be a runaway bestseller. In the first year, Hewlett Packard hoped to sell 10,000 units. They ended up selling 10 times that. Before the HP 35, slide rules were the most common devices used to perform trigonometric functions. But by the end of 1972, they were nearly obsolete. The HP 35 was sold until 1975 would have many descendants, all of which put a whole suite of know-how in the palm of our hands.